Hello. I got a lot of questions about tips and tricks for speedrunning, so I decided to make a guide for it. Hitman is a puzzle game, and with speedrunning the aim is to find the quickest solution to the puzzle. You start at a point and you have to end at a point. Everything in between is up for puzzle solving. First and foremost it's important to really know the maps inside out. Learn about the routes of NPCs, learn how the AI works. The more you speedrun, the faster you will see new openings. Now we'll discuss certain tips and tricks that will be helpful in tackling certain mini puzzles. The first trick I wanted to share with you guys are the leg shots. One of the most used tricks in speedrunning. It usually comes into play when having to deal with more than one NPC at the same time. The key thing to know here is that as soon as an NPC goes into an animation, he's unable to see or spot you or basically do anything. You just have to make sure that you kill them or knock them out before they get back up. I'll show you an example right now. So you shoot him in the leg, falls down, and you knock him out. Your rating is still safe. Very, very useful trick. Next thing I want to talk about is cutscenes. Waiting out a cutscene can help you get into a better situation. The key thing to know here is that the mission timer will only start after the cutscene. However, as soon as the cutscene plays, all of the NPCs will begin with their route. Timing this to your advantage can help a lot. I'll show you the difference that it can make. So this time around I'm gonna skip the cutscene right away and pay attention to the second security guard that I come across and his position. So skip it right away. I run to the second security guard and he's right here around the corner. Now compare that with waiting the full cutscene, which I'm about to do right now. This time around, we watch the entire cutscene. And remember, the mission timer doesn't start until the cutscene is over. Again, run straight to the second security guard. And pay attention to his position. Look at that, he's all the way over there. Timing this can be really helpful and it's different with each mission. So you just have to experiment a bit with that yourself. The third thing I wanted to talk about is panic distractions. The key thing here is that causing non-guard NPCs to panic will override the normal behavior. When they are in panic mode, they will no longer care about you trespassing, as long as you're not doing anything illegal like holding a weapon. Panic mode can be triggered by explosions, loud gunshots, silent gunshots in very close proximity to an NPC, and fire alarms. I'll show you an example by starting here in my suit and getting backstage of the area. Normally you have to go through the basement to get there safely. With this trick however you can make a shortcut and I'll show you how to do that. So for this example I decided to go with a duck. So I drop a duck here, then I detonate it, which will cause all these NPCs to panic. As a result they will no longer care about me trespassing here. I can just walk here freely now as long as I don't encounter any guards. This is a very, very useful tics, uh, trick for making a shortcut. Next trick I wanted to talk about is luring guards away. This one comes in handy when you want certain guards to be gone from an area, or you want them to come to you. When you shoot a guard in his chest, he will be alerted and will run to your direction. It will not make you lose your status. If you shoot him in the legs, however, or you're just too close to them, you will enter combat straight away, and you will have forfeited your silent assassin rank. I'll show you an example here of where I lure those two guards to come to my position. So I shoot them in his back. It will say guards alerted straight away and they will come towards me. This will not make me lose my status because they didn't see who committed the crime. They were just assaulted but I don't know by who. So they're gonna check out my position right here. So as you can see this is a perfect way to lure guards that are far away and make them come to you. This can be a huge time saver. As you can see the guards will be heading straight up to my room from where I took the shot. They can't spot me because they didn't know it was me who took the shot. They're just gonna investigate the area where the shot came from. Very, very useful take. And now they're here and, and I can just kill them straight away. 
The last small trick I wanted to share with you guys is the fast throw. It's just a small little trick. The principle is this. You just crouch when you're holding a lethal melee weapon. Or non-lethal, doesn't matter. And as soon as you throw it, you stand up. You will throw it faster. It's a very minuscule trick, but it can save a few seconds. Here's an example. Now compare that with a normal throw. I want to end this guide with a general tip. Just experiment as much as possible. Try really dumb stuff. You never know when it's gonna work. Just test it out and notice what impact it will have on the game. Be creative. I hope this guide was useful for you guys. And if you enjoyed this guide and my speedruns, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Good luck guys. I'm really looking forward to see your runs.